factor 512 m to the ninth plus n to the ninth. Here we have a sum of two cubes. 512 is 8 cubed, and m to the ninth is m cubed cubed, and then n to the ninth is n cubed cubed. So we can use the formula for the sum of two cubes to factor this. We have f plus l, which is going to be 8m cubed plus n cubed, times f squared, which is 64m to the sixth, minus fl. If we multiply 8m cubed times n cubed, we're going to get 8m cubed n cubed. And then plus l squared, n cubed squared is n to the sixth. But here we're not finished yet. There is something that can be factored further, and it's not the trinomial at the end. It's actually the first factor because each of these itself is a perfect cube. 8m cubed is 2m quantity cubed, and n cubed is n cubed. So again, we have another sum of cubes that we can break down even further. When we break down this sum of cubes, we have 2m plus n times the first one squared gives us 4m squared minus the product is going to be 2mn plus the last one squared is n squared. And then we also can't forget this other factor. So we also have a factor of 64m to the sixth minus 8m cubed n cubed plus n to the sixth. And now we've broken down everything that we can, and so this becomes our final answer. You should always be vigilant when you're factoring something to make sure that everything has been factored as much as possible. I've mentioned before that usually the trinomial is not factorable any further if we're using the formula for a sum or difference of cubes. But in these situations, it is possible that that first term can be factored further, like this situation. And so we have to make sure that we've done all of the factoring that we can possibly do.